Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of Maguanago. It is Tuesday, August 3rd. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. God is our refuge and our strength and ever-present help in trouble. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Jesus invites you, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. Keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. Into your hands I commend my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. Our devotion today is taken from St. Matthew chapter 25. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these, brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. The word of the Lord. Um, we've been talking quite a bit about vocation, um, partly in connection with Pastor Berg's um, new book and some of the presentations he has done on that, but partly um, simply as the, the hallmark, one of the hallmarks of the Lutheran uh, Reformation, if you will, a, a doctrine in Scripture that Luther uncovered, reintroduced, however you might say it, um, a vocation that focuses on our calling, uh, God's calling, how he utilizes us, how God literally wears us as his mass to carry out love for our neighbor. And I just was struck this week, um, and probably week, week ago, just the number of, number of times I bumped into somebody in a different calling, a professional calling, if you will, and came away with a renewed appreciation for who they were and what they were able to do. And just think about uh, what a royal mess um, the it would be if 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 I was carrying out that work. Um, when I was a pastor in Plymouth, Nebraska, we had the privilege of of building a new school. And I remember um, as exhilarating and exhausting as those months were. Um, one of the things I really uh, got to enjoy, maybe they were annoyed by it, but I really got to enjoy just being around everyday people um, on a daily basis, uh, all the contractors, and, and you get to know some of them well. And, and I think about the foreman on the job, I can still remember his name, Bruce, and the conversations we would have and how the Lord would allow those regular conversations to turn into something deeper. But thankful for, <clears throat> thankful for that Bruce was the foreman of that project. And lo and behold, we're doing this little construction project at school right now. And, uh, and uh, the, the guy who is leading the charge here from outside of our church, well, his name is Bruce too. And uh, I've had opportunities in these early mornings to chat with him and his co-worker and, uh, and just marvel at, at their art, uh, what they can do um, with brick and mortar. Uh, these, these hands can't do, this head can't see it, these eyes can't visualize it, that work that is done. Um, I'm thankful when I go um, to a doctor's office and the, the people who work in that place in different fields, but their, their, their gifts and um, how the Lord uses them. What a royal mess of things um, I would make if, if I were the one um, in charge. And every turn and chapter of life, we are able to encounter people who the Lord uses to, to bless us, to bless society, to bless our neighbor. We are all one in Christ Jesus. And yet, we think about the different opportunities and gifts that God has given us and the freedom you and I have in the blood of Jesus Christ, not to use those gifts to serve me, myself, and I, but in service to one another, 
for the joy and betterment of one another. And lo and behold, Jesus adds this to it. When you do this and you carry out this work, you recognize it is not just your neighbor that you are serving, but it is him. Whatever you do for the least of these, my brothers, you've done it also for me. And so this day I can thank God for those who serve in so many different vocations and those who exhibit so many gifts that the Lord has seen fit not to bless me with. And I can rejoice that the Lord uses them for the good of his kingdom and the glory of his saving name. God's blessings to you as you serve him. And whatever it is you find yourself today, your callings pleasing to God because you're pleasing to God. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, preserve the congregation of believers with your never-failing mercy. Help us then avoid whatever is wicked and harmful, and guide us in the way that leads to our salvation. We live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power, and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.